Lord, help me to understand, and I don't mean to be ungrateful or to even question you, but you allow me to save up, you allow me to be in an opportunity to buy this van, you put me in the perfect place at the perfect time, I take this vehicle to the mechanic and all of a sudden it doesn't drive after a service? Have you ever struggled before? Yes, Lord. Have you ever felt like I wasn't there for you? Sometimes. Have I always proven I was there for you? Always, Lord. Have you ever thought that if this van drove, you might be in the wrong place at the wrong time? It's crossed my mind. And are you going to allow a van to stop you from chasing your dreams the way that you used to chase them before? The boy that I knew would run, and he wouldn't run away from the problem. He would run towards the problem, and he would figure a way out, a way how to get over this problem and to keep pushing and keep chasing this dream. But I see you sitting here, wallowing away, and you are not chasing your dreams. Why are you not running? Run, soy, run. But where, Lord, where should I run? Run, soy, run.
All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we're always smiling. And right now we are in the beautiful Parity Bay. That is in St. Elizabeth. Now, St. Elizabeth is a place where you guys might have noticed that's where we got to this really nice place called Katama. And on our first day journeying out, we are going to Pelican Bar. I did Pelican Bar maybe like two years ago, but this year we're going to do it a lot better. And of course, we are here with Sarah and Jilly, we are about to have a whole blast. So um, Sarah set up everything for me. She made sure that she got in touch with Floyd himself. So Floyd is gonna take us across there and um, we are going to get some food. I think that's a great part about Pelican yeah. Bar is that it's out in the ocean, but yo, you can, you can get food and drinks and vibes. You can always see the snorkel gear. Everybody got a snorkel gear this time around, got some shipped in. And yeah, we're gonna go out there, do a bit of snorkeling, and have just an all-around amazing time. You might not be able to see from here, but way out there is the Pelican Bar. Freaking awesome, man. Ooh. All right. <laughs> this is gonna be a vibe, man. Everybody's gonna try to drop a couple of stuff in my bag. Phones and stuff like that. Valuables. Valuables. Check. All right, and we're gonna head out onto the, the boat. All right. Try to keep the boat steady. <laughs> Effortless. <laughs> and this is the boss himself, Floyd. The man himself. Yo, I've never seen this guy before, so it's good for actually catching on camera. You see me? Our vibes. VIP treatment. VIP treatment today, yeah? Alright, so it's a whole vibe. And you guys can see over there, Floyd Pelican Bar. It's one of those places in Jamaica where you just have to visit. It's so unique. I've never seen anything else like it. So, yeah. Last time I was there, I never got the chance to try the food. So this time around, Floyd is gonna be hooking us up with some of that good Jamaican food. Is it me? French cash, everything.
Bless Santi, bless it, bless it. Yes, I. Watch out, you know. all right guys so we just come off the boat just now and um we're at the floyd pelican bar what you're gonna notice really instantly is just a bunch of carvings of persons who have been here the names you'll also see the license plates from persons who came from canada the us they bring the license plates they'll just hang it up right there inside of the bar sometimes even flags and shirts so it's just like a whole memorabilia of experiences of people coming out here to travel so of course we're getting food so as sarah suggested we're just going to put in our orders from before and then we can lime you know just have some drinks you know snorkel and whatever the case is until the food is ready mm, the price well we have like garlic shrimp and garlic cow, fried chicken and how would you like to have the fish steam fry or be that you want and next time we will take that off Alright guys, so I got look on the fish. So Sarah and I got fish, so we're gonna check that out really quick. We have like parrot fish. That's parrots? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, this one is a two thousand. You want a nice big fish? I don't want fire fish though. I want snapper. You have snapper? Well, I don't. We have snapper. We only have. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll be eating fargy. It's a nice eating fried fish, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this one is a 2000. The fargy, and this one is a 2000. What is the fargy? It's about two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. All right, guys. So we just ordered this kind of rum punch drink. I'm hoping that it's. I'm hoping that it's good. <laughs> ah, bless you. All right, so we're gonna stir it. Let's hope. Here's what do you think about it? Flalika. <laughs>
All right, guys, so we're just out here vibing, waiting on our food. A place like this, to be honest, when you're out here, you just want to spend like the entire day, just chill, you know, I'm going to else. You just want to relax. If you're a smoker, you do that. If you're a swimmer, you do that. If you're a drinker, you do that. You see me? And if you're an eater, you do that. So, all right? Real talk. <laughs> All right, Sarah, I know you always wanted to be out here. Now that you are out here, how you feel? What's the vibe like? Feeling good. Weather is nice. Drink is nice. A little too nice. But the vibe is really nice. Like, as Tim said, you don't want to go nowhere else after this. You just want to put the day for here alone and just relax and enjoy. I can't wait to go snorkeling. We can't wait for the food to go. It's a vibe. And beans. You just chill. She, you know, she ain't got nothing to say. I'm just chill. The place is lovely. Floyd is really nice. Nice guy. Um, this white rock is kicking. Um, it's nice. And she already went up a shade. Yeah. In Tana yeah already just, like 10 minutes just by holding her foot out in the water. Yeah. That's ridiculous, man. I'm looking forward to snorkeling. I'm seeing a lot of fish for the place. So yeah. I'm really excited to see what's out there. Under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> the XLB sauce, send it over there, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why are people themselves supposed to know food? Say food shot. Yes, man. Stop one now. Well done, you know what I mean? Well done. Chef, I can ask you a question. Yes, sir. Which of your dish that I say is the most popular one out there? Popular dish? Yeah. Well, we have more than one popular dish in the month. The dish where the people go for more wine yeah. is the lobster, you know what I mean? Oh, but the season yeah, done. Yeah, it's bad season, you know, so it's like out of lobster. Okay. Yeah. So you're the writer now, you're the like uh, that's a regular fish? Yeah, that's a regular fish, you know what I mean? Okay, you're no secret, take my number, I'm sure, you're no secret no, ingredients. You're good, man. Oh. Everything is good, man. Everything is good, man. <laughs> if they try to make it like it, they might catch it the same way, no, you know? No, 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 I'm not hurt that way, you know? I know that way, though, man. <laughs> okay. Do you have any tips to anybody who want to learn how to do like a proper escovitch fish or a proper fry fish in general? Well, it's telling the whole truth, you know what I mean? You don't have to just watch your parents and my home and see your parents and my one. Catch a practice? Yeah, and learn from there, you know? A real talk, you make, man? Yes, man. A real talk, you make. So, how long you have cooked? How long you have cooked now? Yeah. Seven years. Yeah. That's all professionally. Yes, sir. Okay. So seven years out, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, till like we come as about three years ago, but whenever really, yeah, they get food at the time. Is it that you have to put in a special request for food yes, before you come? Yes, you have to call ahead and put in an order before you reach. Okay, so call ahead. I'm ready to prepare before you reach. You know? Okay, got you, got you. Yeah. Yes, sir. So I want to walk me through something. Yeah. But I have something I'm not really. I can do it sometime when I do it. See? <laughs> or you do your, your bummy in particular. My bummy in particular? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we have a secret to add. All right, you know, you know, have a send on. Send yeah. up more, yeah, send up more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I have a couple of my subscribers, and I will always ask how to make a good escovitch. A good escovitch? Yeah, proper escovitch. Well, all you have to do like, regular season, you pepper your onion. Yeah. You know what I mean? The sweet pepper said, with your vinegar. Yeah. I mean, what special thing you put in there, said, you know what I mean? Don't tell me. Different. Yes. It's yeah, a secret. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, don't vibe. Yes, yes. All right, yes. bless up, bro. Yeah, man, every time, man. Respect. All right, so we were just back there just now with the chef a while ago. So, key tip, if you want to come here, you want to have food, ensure, ensure, ensure that you call ahead. I'm going to let Sarah give me the number so we can drop it in the description box. So you can call Floyd ahead and you ensure that you get some food. But if you don't really care about food, you can just take a boat over here, no issues. There's going to always be liquor, right? Because liquor is... It's a bar. It's a bar. <laughs> it's, and then um, you can just drink and swim and do whatever it is that you want to do. All right, vibes. Yes. <laughs> so Esco, yes, one right there. So mine is it? Mine is that regular that fish. I remember it's not the pirate fish. This is mine. Okay, good. All right, cool. So you having the pond? 
Alright, so Sarah is having some fish, some festival, and some bami. So that's a vibe. I'm also having some fish, festival, and bami. Jamaica feels like a magazine, right? That's a vibe, that's a vibe. What is there what is there to see in Tennessee? So if I come to Tennessee, oh, what if country music? Country that's for sure. Yep. Alright guys, so you know the food was pretty good. I think it met expectations. So now we're gonna jump into the water right now to get a bit of snorkeling in. We did get the girls some some fins and some snorkel gear and stuff, so I'm excited to see how they actually use them. And let me tell you man, out here the vibe is really good. You don't need to be a member to actually be out here. Just pay for your boat right and you're good. Alright guys. <laughs> are you excited? Are so you excited. so excited? And are you so excited? I'm so excited, yes. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we're gonna go snorkeling. This time you have proper gear. Proper gears, guys. <laughs> proper gear. Oh, I'm going up in my nose and stuff. Oh, you like, look pretty with the knobs. Thank you. Yeah, the vibes. And I like your bikini, matter of fact. Bohemian swimwear to go with the place that we're staying. Like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. We're gonna jump in the water. The water is pretty crystal clear. It's pretty nice. Um, it's very low. You can stand up in there and everything. Anyway, let's jump in the water. Officially a mermaid. Yes. <laughs> what happened? Are you aware? Oh, you trying to push you in? Just follow every move Touch me Let me know you want it to Don't tell what you need Shallow out here. You have to walk backwards. 
Coachella right here. Just for But the water warm and nice. It's warm. It's a good experience. Yeah. Normally, I'm a I'm a first to like come over. Talk, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you out, but talk about the the experience trying to go do the. Yeah. You were just talking about it just now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is no toilet. <laughs> okay. I went to use the bathroom, guys. So I saw Sarah did, and then I went. The door was closed. So I peeped over the door. I saw a toilet, but the door was closed. So I went to the guy and I said, "Um, what do you use the bathroom?" He said, "You have to bend down." And so I said, "What do you mean? Take off your clothes and bend down?" And <laughs> <laughs> you have to forget to make. Yeah. And guess what I did. I followed instructions. He did it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go nowhere. I, 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 think, I, think, I think that makes it's a I mean, experience. Yeah. The reason why I brought this up is because, you know, everything is out in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. You guys might have seen in the drone footage, you might see like there are solar panels above. So that answers how they actually power out here. Yep. And of course, there isn't like a, a manhole or anything like that for anything. your dudes. So, yeah, that's that, that, that's the vibe. Yeah, and I think most people just only need to pee, really. Yeah. I think that'd be the only thing. Um, in terms of the boat, the boat, the boat keeps coming out here like every so often. So every 20 minutes, yeah, or less. So if you need to um, come back out, once they drop off, you can always leave yeah. under the boat that's going back for other people. So it's not like you're waiting long Yeah, you are not waiting long at all. Yeah. Guys, on the water? That song that's That's not what she said. <laughs> oh, oh, well, the clean version. Underwater, underwater, underwater. So excited. So excited. So excited. <laughs> For the powers combined, we are all so excited! <laughs> uh, speaking of boats, there goes another one just coming right back. Yeah, they're the yeah, so yeah, it, it, you don't have to worry about transportation and if you feel like you need to leave, you can leave. It's pretty fun. Anyway, we're going to try to go under these to see if you can see like um, this or anything like that. Alright, let's go for it. Yeah, and it's not, today is a bit overcast, it's supposed to be raining, raining. The water is still warm and, um, yeah, it's so warm and nice, so maybe the video is not so bright and Jamaican-y, you know, with the sunshine, but um, it's so good. Oh yeah, we're bringing the sunshine today, in fact.
<laughs> You're right. I thought it was tape, but it's not. It's like, uh, I don't know. Oh, my God. Let's get across. I guess it was nice knowing y'all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> mission done. Woo. Woo. Yo, in the water the key like hot. guys so the rain has kicked up pretty hard right now um, imagine that being imagine when it's raining at home and it's hot fields and being out in the middle of the ocean with this happening yo trust me it's crazy so I'm a bit cold Jilly you're cold right it's Jilly it's freezing um, yeah well that's a vibe I think this has added to the whole adventure and everything it's <laughs> yo I just hope we can get off here and just be like good Bless up an awesome stay man. Now, have a quick question. What brought about this idea of starting this place? 
Well, it was really a team of mine. You feel it? Never really feel it. That's a bar. You see my first album, you know. Then there's a guy who used to get some takes and sell a beat for yeah. the block of a tour. And then he stopped by and said, Nice. So he went to a bar. Yeah. I never really aggressed the time, but anyway, I thought it and the rest of life is great. So you had it as a, just your personal yeah, spot before? My personal, you know. Just me alone. Praise the guy. Thank you, brother. Bless up, brother. Good luck and good job. Thank you, man. Alright. Bless up, brother. Quick tip, once you're entering this area, don't put your hand here because you could bash it on that, so whenever you come here. It's been a vibe. It's been an epic vibe. I think the second time around here has been like way, way, way better. Right, <laughs> Where was your toilet? That was it. <laughs> so, the toilet was somewhere right there. <laughs> Departing from Pelican Bay, you have arrived at your stop. Oh, that water is warm. Good things here too, them do. <laughs> oh boy, what can I say? That was like one of the better days. It's just so funny. Like every time you travel, this well for me, I don't know about the ladies, but for me, it's like every trip tops the other one. But they're different in their own right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Kind of yep. crazy. So far, what has been your Go best trip? Like, which one is your favorite, Joe? Boy, just going out to Pelican itself, you know. First of all, leaving Kingston. <laughs> <laughs> oh my but, god. But going out to Pelican because I've always wanted to go there. So just being able to see and reach this far, then being honest, vibes and food, you know, great people. It's the experience is just something so relaxing about being in the country. I don't know. That's why I love it. That's so, a fact. That's if y'all want to take me to the country, the country. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can I look at man hard? <laughs> Jill. <laughs> What is your favorite part? Like, what trip so far has been like your favorite one? I enjoyed Canopy House. Canopy House was. Yeah, yeah, that was like my favorite trip. But what I'm, um, you know, since I've been out there kind of quiet, I was just observing being here. And what I like, it's just nice to see a small man build up a play, an establishment. And when you look at the people that it employs in the community, mm -hmm. it offers a lot of direct employment and indirect employment. And it's quite impressive, and the whole vibe over there was good. I had a good time. Thank you, Stephen. Vibes. <laughs> I, I agree, like, it has about, um, I'll probably say, like, it was like at least four, five, many boats, yo, many boats. And this yeah. is during COVID time, so 
when things pick up and get back to normal it's like a lot of boat trips go over there because if you go through the entire community all you're going to see on the road is just like boat tours boat tours to pelican bar so and they actually seem to get busy you know yeah, definitely because, even during yeah. this time there yeah. was, since we've been there it's probably like uh 15 20 people yeah, yeah. yeah people over there that sell yeah. crafts people that sell t-shirts you have people who sell just it's just a lot of it, 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 it's nice it's nice there, to see there's always like a good and bad out every situation That's because right. the lady was telling me that i think during covid time is like the most traffic that they've been having because i feel like because we're not forced to they're be not getting international in tourists, yeah so the jamaicans can women, actually women, know yeah yeah go there and That's enjoy it thing. so Get on up, guys. It's only a thousand dollars boat ride. Go over there. You get to order food. You get to drink. It's such a vibe. It's such a vibe. Speaking of money, um, the total cost for everybody was twelve thousand two hundred. So yeah. that's like about ninety something US dollars for three people, and that included food, and drinks, and transportation. So yep. go figure. Anyway, I'll catch you guys when we get to our stay. All right guys, so we are back and uh, let me say, today was an amazing day. I never expected it to be this good today because, you know, I went to this place already, but it just shows that once you have a good experience somewhere, there is a reason to go back because the first experience was great. And if you enhance that experience by carrying different people with a different vibe or even just bringing something as simple as snorkels, it can make everything just a whole bit better. And of course, we're going to have some pizza or something like that, whatever the case is, for dinner. And um, yeah, maybe take a stroll on the beach really quick and just call it the end of the day. Guys, thank you so much for watching another Soy Vlogs video. If you've watched several of them, drop a comment. Let me know what video was your favorite and which videos you want to see. And um, remember, drop a like on the video. That really helps a lot. A like to me is a lot more valuable money when it comes down to YouTube. Anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next adventure and I'll take you somewhere else in this area, St. Elizabeth, Black River. This is the part that I'm going to be exploring right now for you guys somewhere a little bit off the beaten track. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Remember, see things, love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, keep the link.